Time now for sports. If you've been searching for tickets to attend the Carifta Track and Field Championships, well, you have to wait just a few more days. That's because the local organizing committee had a setback earlier this week with the tickets printed. The highly sought-after items were to go on sale on Monday, but officials had to have them reprinted. Chairman Real Roberts assured me today that they will be on sale to the public from next Monday at Lime Outlets, CUC, and Funky Tanks. Many eager track and field lovers have also been asking the question on the ticket prices. So here they are. Season tickets for the main stand, the TE Macfield, by the finish line. That's on the straightaway at the Truman Border Sports Complex. Sections start for the season tickets, the three days, April 3rd to 5th. They start from $63 and go to $85. So that will cover you for the three days. The cost is $40 for the Mackie Seymour stand and the bleachers. And the, that ticket will co cover you for three days. The season tickets are for both morning and evening sessions. And you'll also get some little goodies if you buy a season ticket. The morning session prices start at just $4. And the evening sessions run from $8 to $32 for the evening session only. Ticket prices vary for sections. The local organizing committee have made sections up. Uh, for the Carifta Track and Field Championship. So the tickets go on sale from next Monday and you can go out and get them to support our athletes, our 25 athletes for the Carifta Track and Field Championships. And our preview for the Carifta Track and Field Championships continues tomorrow on Let's Talk Sports along with swimming. The live show at 8 o'clock on Cayman 27, Carifta swim coach Andrea Kilam Hago, gold medalist and last year's boys team captain Seiji Groom and the Olympian, Andrew Bakai, they join us in the studio as our swimmers prepare to head off to Kingston, Jamaica the same weekend that we host the Carifta Track and Field Championships. And for the track and field segment of the show, Olympians Ronald Forbes back from Florida and Sidoni Mothersill, they'll be joining us here in the studio. And you can give us a call to talk to our top athletes, our Olympians, national coach Kenrick Williams and some Carifta athletes, Tristan von Kirchenheim and Alexander Pascal, two first-timers. They will be here in studio with us as well on Lex Talk Sports. We will also have a trivia question in our call-in segment tomorrow night with the winner getting a ticket to the Carifta Track and Field Championship. So if you want to go to Carifta for free, just give us a call tomorrow evening. To some netball news now on top, local players put on an awesome exhibition game last Saturday for Honoring Women Month. Standout players, both senior and junior, match their skills in front of an appreciative crowd at the Truman Bowden Sports Complex courts. Local netball president Lucille Seymour expressed the sport's importance of highlighting women's contribution through sports. Netball, with the um, Ministry of, it, of Sports, they are celebrating Women's Month through sport. Not only for k and women, but for the first women who fought hard for, k for women to have the right to vote. Important stuff there. From netball to show jumping, some of the Caribbean's best juniors compete here last weekend in the second leg of the Caribbean Equestrian Association Junior Jumping Competition. Jumpers from Jamaica, Bermuda, and Trinidad and Tobago compete against local riders Elsie Boone and Kelsey Bodden. The competition posed a different set of challenges for the riders, but according to local official Jane Vanderball, they handled them well. You have to be a strong rider, you have to be a confident rider to go into another country where you've probably never been before, you've never met the other riders coming from all the other countries and you've certainly never ridden this horse before so you, um, you really have to be confident and, and have some serious training underneath you. It's all about camaraderie and uh, learning about the country you're visiting and riding in and riding their horses. That's it for sports.